I thank you. First of all, thank you to everybody that uh, sent me questions. I really appreciate it. And your questions were quite interesting. I made sure that I just select because you know some of the questions were quite similar. So I selected the ones that were more or less you know the same. Uh, that's a weird one. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Gekele Ton Tasa, but you guys can call me Geke and yeah, welcome. So remember guys, I posted a Q&A on my Instagram and I said that I would answer the questions in a short video. So here we are. If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe so that you can get more content like this. And also click on the notification bell so that you can get notified when I post a video. Okay, so let's get right into it. The first question was, what's your favorite song? Guys, I don't know. You know with songs, it's always up and down. There's always the next best song. But I will say my all-time favorite song is a song by Bob Marley and Lauren Hill called Turn Your Lights Down Low. Whenever that song plays for me, it's it's a vibe. It's a yeah, it's a party. We're good. And then the next one is, do you know how to sing? Oh, first of all, guys, let me just say this. I wear glasses, and like I can't see without them. So I don't like the reflection that you know they bring with the light. So I choose to not wear them. <laughs> then I can't see. So excuse the squinting and all of that. Um, but yeah, to answer the question, um, do I know how to sing? Was that the question? Yeah. The answer is no. I don't know how to sing. The honest answer is no. I do not know how to sing. However, if I had to sing to save my life, I, I could probably hold a note just so I could survive. But otherwise, for a living, no. For entertainment, no. But for survival, Next question, um, what's your biggest fear? Okay, um, I would say my biggest fear is the fear of losing myself. I have worked so hard to get to where I am holistically. Um, it takes a lot of effort to build up self-confidence, to build up courage you know, mental health, all of that. It's a lot of effort to build everything concerning self. So to lose who I am, the core of my being, uh, that I would be devastated. So that's my biggest fear. I don't want to not be able to recognize who I am. So, yeah. Next question, what inspires you? I really like the sun um, because I am inspired by anything and everything and what i mean by that is i could go outside um maybe a drive i live in a very pretty area by the way there's mountains and gorgeous views so if i could just go out for a drive fresh air i would feel inspired um people inspire me the people i work with the people i live with um little children inspire me i mean yeah I'm inspired by literally anything. It depends on how I feel. And then the next question, um, what's your favorite part about teaching? So yeah, guys, I am a teacher by profession. I think most of you would have already figured that out. My very first video um, was my graduation. So I am a qualified teacher and my favorite thing or my favorite part about teaching is seeing learners get it you know when you teach somebody something and you witness them understanding and being able to apply what you've just taught them that is the be the best part for me um because i mean the children have different learning um abilities and to be able to see that come out um, in each one is amazing and i also like to interact with them and talk to them and just hear what they think and how they feel and all of you know what's going on with them so 
being able to see that they've actually learned something from me that's my favorite part okay then the next question was um where else would you have been sorry where else would you see what i mean okay let's try again where else would you have loved to see yourself apart from teaching okay so apart from teaching i would say i would have loved to be either a psychologist or a social worker those were my top three psychology social work or teaching and i discovered that teaching through teaching i can actually be all of the above because um my through my degree i studied basic psychology and half of the job i do really is similar to social work it's not the same but it's similar because i deal with learners who come from different backgrounds and i have to you know treat them the way a social worker would um so yeah i would have loved to have been a social worker or it's or a psychologist basically yeah apart from teaching but yeah i'm happy where i am the next question is what inspires you or what inspired you to open a youtube channel and what do you wish to achieve from it um i was inspired by seeing especially my peers how they were so free and and able to be themselves and how they grew from where they started to where they are now and i thought wow that's amazing uh, so for me what i want to achieve or wish to achieve from this platform is growth i want to be able to it's like youtube for me now is like a journal um it's like i'm documenting my growth my experiences and i'm able to reflect back and see where um you know where i was and where i am and appreciate those moments because yeah i'm actually glad that i started this journey this youtube journey it's not easy but so far so good and i'm enjoying myself okay so the next question what do you admire in a person sure people are so different but i really admire how people are able to just bounce back i mean we go through so much in life so much but we are able to really just bounce back and show up especially for ourselves so i admire people who have that inner strength to be able to overcome any situation and just be present fully present in life okay next question do you enjoy working in a group setting or as an individual and why okay sheesh i would say i enjoy working in a group setting um simply because i don't like to feel pressured like you know when you feel like it's heavy so i don't like that feeling uh being in a group setting also it depends who's in that group who am i working with but yeah i know people have different strengths and you know abilities and someone else could be better at something else than i am and or somebody could all, could be able to notice something that i could overlook so being in a group setting helps you do better i feel um and i'm also aware that alone i could go faster you know do things my way you know everything quick whereas in a group setting i could go far you know so there's that difference longevity and yeah sure guys i've been talking a lot hmm. next question <laughs> hmm. describe your ideal partner okay <laughs> So my ideal partner would be somebody who's kind, somebody who's generous, somebody who is patient and somebody who loves me, you know, they have to love me for who I am as I am 
but obviously somebody who encourages me to be better and also somebody cute like good looking yeah somebody um hmm. yeah somebody nice is my ideal partner next question next question i have something in my eye do you eat meat yes i eat meat i enjoy all kinds of meats yes i eat meat i'm not uh, i'm not vegan or vegetarian which one is it i eat meat okay what is your shoe size i'm a size three guys i am this short i'm like petite so i'm a size three um what is your favorite public transport uh that's a weird one i like i like i prefer private <laughs> um but i would say a shuttle there are shuttles in my area so yeah they're very comfortable they feel like they're private and buses yeah i like buses they're also very comfortable so i like comfort basically okay and convenience um are you more are you a more artistic or mathematic person definitely artistic i feel sometimes i feel like i can't count like numbers are not my thing i am more of a artsy person and yeah that's what i like um what other languages do you speak is yeah, the the following question um okay so i speak english and afrikaans and then sesotho which is my home language my mother tongue and then i speak seswati and zulu and then setswana and tonga a bit of tonga and then Tepeji. yeah and then also Kosa. i understand Kosa very well i just i'm not confident speaking it back um but yeah those are the languages i speak and the one that i understand but just speaking back is a bit of a a wobble yeah um do you have pets yes i have pets uh sadly my cat went away and just didn't return <sighs> um and then i have two dogs or oh, we have two dogs because i live at home um and a fish tank with fish uh obviously <laughs> um yeah another question um What is the next one? What's your favorite color? Okay, my favorite color is yellow. I love yellow because it's a happy color, you know. Um, but my other favorite, my new other favorite, is blush pink. And the reason for this is because whenever I wear anything blush pink, I always get compliments. Any, it could be a dress, a shirt, anything blush pink, I always get compliments. And I think it's because it it looks good on my skin. So yeah, it's my new favorite color as well. But the main one is yellow. Yeah, and another question is, do I have any siblings? Yes, I do. I have two little brothers. And the funny thing is that the age gap between us is massive. Uh, so I'm eight years older than the middle one, the one who comes after me. And I'm 15 years older than the last born. And I'm the only girl. And that's awesome. And I love it. Yeah. Your full names and age. Ah, guys. <laughs> what do you guys want from me? <laughs> okay, my full names are Riti Metsi, Kete Leton Tasa, and I am 23 years old. Ah. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I'm. I'm. <laughs> No, I'm 28 years young. Anyway, thank you so much, guys, for your questions. I really, really enjoyed answering them. I hope that you feel like you know me better now. 
if you have any other questions feel free to just in the comment section you can ask i will answer them um yeah it's very exciting to just be here and you know interact with you guys i really enjoy it so yeah otherwise i will see you guys soon keep well take care and bye